And this next story is difficult to watch, even tougher to believe. A good Samaritan on the streets of New York City sees someone in distress and steps in to help. But when he becomes the victim for helping, no one steps up for him with tragic consequences. Global Nationals Paul Johnson has the story. And a warning, some viewers may find the pictures disturbing. Police say he was a good Samaritan. 31-year-old Hugo Tailed Yaks stabbed as he tried to protect a woman from a mugger. This surveillance tape shows him bleeding to death on the sidewalk as 25 people passed him by. In that hour and 20 minutes, one man takes a cell phone picture, another actually lifts his body, sees the blood, and walks away. By the time paramedics got there, it was too late. Anybody that would do that and just leave him there to die, that's no morals, you know? No morals, no conscience. Shocking, but hardly uncommon. In Hartford, Connecticut, a 78-year-old man who was hit by a car died after countless others passed him by. A patient who collapsed in the waiting room of this New York psych ward was left face down for an hour before she died, with staff and other patients looking on. A lot of you are probably thinking, not me. If I saw something like that happening, I would jump in and help. But statistically speaking, you wouldn't, especially if there were a lot of other people around. There's an assumption that someone else must be helping out. We're motivated to try to fit into our social environment. We're influenced by others. Uh, we want to do what others do. Our behavior will follow. It's known as the bystander effect. The more people present, the less likely anyone will step forward and do something. The stabbing murder of Kitty Genovese in New York in 1964 is one of the most famous examples. But in 2002, Canadians were horrified by the murder of Brienne Voth early one morning in Port Coquitlam. Some neighbors who heard her screams didn't call 911. Actual good Samaritans are rarer than you'd think. And last week in New York, Hugo Tail Yaks seems to have been the only one who deserved that title. Paul Johnson, Global News, Washington.